welcome to the Cerebral Palsy Alliance Morning Tea. First of all, members of the Circle of Hands, you are so far-sighted, you're kind, you're supporters that have left a gift in their world from CPA. We thank you so much. Why did you decide to leave CPA something in your will? They did so much for me, and I know that if they hadn't been available, it, I don't know where my parents would have gone. Cerebral palsy is the most common physical disability in childhood. So the rate of cerebral palsy has fallen by 40% since 2005, which is phenomenal. We have one of the lowest rates in the world. What we do at Cerebral Palsy Alliance is that we have funding we call early response funding, and we're able to allocate that to children to support them in that gap period between their point of um, having a diagnosis of cerebral palsy or at risk of cerebral palsy and getting an NDIS plan or funding that will support them in their ongoing development. At 14 months, I saw a doctor and had a brain scan. I was then diagnosed with Cerebral Palsy. At the Cerebral Palsy Alliance, I started early intervention therapy. I saw a speech pathologist, an occupational therapist, and a physiotherapist. We, we were born out of need in the Hunter. People were travelling to Sydney to get services, and we were a growing area, and families were you know, struggling to juggle life, other children. So being able to offer therapy services and to support people in our own community is really important.